This week on Phytech Tech Tuesday, we're going to show you the symptoms of a clogged fuel filter. One of the things that you would notice while driving the vehicle is when you slam on the gas or try to accelerate, you might get a bog or hesitation. If the system was running well before and it was a newly occurring issue, that would be a good sign of a possible clogged filter. Let's jump over to the engine and we'll show you what the fuel pressure gauge will do when fuel pressure is an issue. So right here, one of our engine stands that we run some systems on, I have one of our fuel filters. I specifically clogged this filter to show you on a fuel pressure gauge what the symptoms would look like on your vehicle and kind of how to diagnose with just a fuel pressure gauge on if you have enough fuel flow for your EFI system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the system. We're gonna see how long it takes when you key on for fuel pressure to build up. Fuel pressure should be built up within a second. So if it takes longer than that, it could be a clogged filter or it could be fuel delivery. But then past that, we're gonna get the engine up and running. I'm gonna snap the throttle real fast to try to give a good amount of load to the engine to try to accelerate. That's when there's a lot more fuel demand and if fuel pressure drops at all, I know that there's a restriction in the fuel system. Fuel pressure ideally should stay the same when you rev the engine or go up a little bit. In this case, we're gonna show you what the system does. So I'm gonna key on, we're gonna watch the fuel pressure. So there's key on, it came up pretty quick. So now we're gonna crank up the engine. So there you have it. When we revved the engine, the fuel pressure was sitting around 45 PSI. We did the rev, it dropped down to about 20. The second time and third time it went down to about 15. That would be a really big sign that there's a clog in the filter. So that would be something that you would wanna go and inspect if you saw something like that. So now that we've figured out that the fuel filter is bad, what we can do is we could remove it from the vehicle. The ends have one inch wrench grabs on it so we can unthread the housing and take the element out. With that element out, we can clean it with a mild detergent such as 409 or something similar and we can clean off the element, let it dry, reassemble it, be sure that you have the fuel flow going the right way and put it back into our inlet line, hook it up and we can check our fuel pressure again. Once we verified our fuel pressure is good, when you hit the throttle again, your problem is now resolved. I hope that answers any questions you had with this video. If you have any additional questions, please comment them down below. If you have any other topics that you would like to see, you can also put those down below and visit our website at phytechefi.com for additional tech videos.